It's Free IP presents Pussyville. Pussyville, Episode 3, In-Person Job Applications and Meeting Crazy Cat. Ozzy? Hmm. Kanga? Ozzy, it's past noon, and you're still not out of bed. I like it here. Even so, lying in bed every day isn't going to make you a self-sufficient adult. You need to get a job. I've been applying, alright? I haven't heard a single word from any of the places I've applied to. Not even a rejection email. Complete radio silence. Ozzy, I understand your frustration. If applying to jobs online isn't getting you any results, you might have to go out and apply for jobs in person. But Kanga, this isn't the 1950s. You can't just walk into a mom and pop shop and get a job just by asking for it. Every place I go to is just going to tell me to apply online. You'd be surprised, Ozzy. Besides, it's not healthy for you to be cooped up in your room all the time. <sighs> You're right. I'll go. Good. Your brother Julius stopped by, so maybe he can help you look. Make yourself look presentable. Thanks again, Julius, for helping me look for jobs. But... Why can't we just take your car? Because you don't have one yet. So we're going to limit our job search to places that are walking distance from Kanga's place. Plus, you can take in the scenery and be less likely to miss any hiring signs. But I'm so tired. You literally just got out of bed less than t Look, a help wanted sign. Ooh, a bakery. You might get some delicious treats out of this one. Can I help you? Don't be shy, Ozzy. Uh, hi. I saw the help wanted sign and I wanted to apply. Oh, okay. Here's a pen and some paper. Write down your name, phone number, experience, and availability, and we'll call you. Huh, I thought you would tell me to apply online. That's more of a thing with big companies. This isn't really unusual at all for small businesses. I did not know that. Anyway, here's my info. Thank you. Have a nice day. So Kanga was right after all. That usually tends to be the case. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this pizza place I always go to is hiring. What's it called? Michelangelo's. Oh, I know that place. I know a shortcut there through the park. All right, let's go. It really is a nice day for a walk in the- Oh shit! What's wrong? I stepped on a pigeon! I think I killed it! Wait, look! There's another one! And a dead squirrel! Is that... Owl over there? Where's that orchestral music coming from? Spring is here, a suffering is here Life is skittles and life is beer I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring I do, don't you? Of course you do but there's one thing that makes spring complete for me And makes every Sunday a treat for me All the world seems in tune on a spring afternoon When we're poisoning pigeons in the park Every Sunday you'll see my sweetheart and me As we poison the pigeons in the park When they see us coming, the birdies all try and hide but they still go for peanuts when coated with the cyanide. The sun's shining bright, everything seems all right when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. We've gained notoriety and caused much anxiety in the Audubon Society with our games. They call it impiety and lack of propriety and quite a variety of unpleasant names. But it's not against any religion to want to dispose of a pigeon. So if Sunday you're free, why don't you come with me and we'll poison the pigeons in the park? And maybe we'll do in a squirrel or two While we're poisoning pigeons in the park We'll murder them all amid laughter and merriment Except for the few we take home to experiment My pulse will be quickening with each drop of strychnine We feed to a pigeon, it just takes a smidgen To poison a pigeon in the park Now that was weird 
Let's get out of here. Look, that cat just got hit in the head with a brick. That's just crazy. I know, right? No, the cat is named Crazy, and the brick was thrown by Ignat's mouse. Is he okay? Yeah, Crazy isn't exactly a he. Is she okay then? Not a she either. But then what do I call them? They'll accept basically any pronouns, but Crazy has no gender. You're pulling my leg. I'm just gonna go ask them for myself. All right, but you're just gonna hear the same thing. Excuse me, your name's Crazy, right? Yeah. So, Crazy, are you male or female? No. I don't think you understood the question. Did your creator make you a boy or a girl? He made me a cat. Really? Are you going to give me a straight answer or what? When my creator was asked if I was male or female, he answered that I have no sex. Just like you. (laughs) Haha, got him. Let's go, Julius. Have a nice day. You too. Well, you were right. I've been living here longer than you have. I know a lot of characters around here who never lived in the Magic Kingdom. Crazy was created in 1913, and his character design influenced Felix the Cat, who in turn influenced me and you, and basically all the other furry rubber hose characters of the 1920s and early 30s. Oh wow, I never knew that. Oh, we're at Michelangelo's now. And there's the Help Wanted sign, now hiring all positions. Maybe I can be a busser or a server, so I can take tips home every day. Welcome to Michelangelo's. How can I help you? Go on, Ozzy. Don't be shy. I saw the help wanted sign in the window and would like to apply. Awesome. Here's an application and a pen. You can sit over at that table and fill it out. Just come over and get me when you're done, and I'll get someone to talk to you. Look at that. You might get interviewed today. Now just gotta fill out this application. Don't write your social security number on the application. Why not? You don't know if they'll properly store or dispose of your application. If you say so. You can always give it to them later anyway. I don't have any work experience to put on here. You were an actor. Okay, then I have no relevant work experience to put on here. What you write is up to you. Just gonna have to kill it in the interview. I finished the application. I'll give it to the hostess for you. I wonder who that guy that the hostess is talking to is. Julius gave her the application. Now she's handing it to the guy. He must be one of the managers or something. Now they're waving me over. That guy motioned for me to follow him. I hope I'm as lucky as my name implies. That was a pretty fast interview. How'd it go? Pretty well, actually. I got the job and I'm starting tomorrow. That's pretty good considering you have no experience. The interview wasn't at all what I expected it to be. How so? Well, for one thing, I'm going to be working in the kitchen instead of being a busser or a server. Why? Michelangelo said he's not hiring for those positions right now. Huh, they should have updated their sign. It's whatever. Michelangelo said it's a very simple job. Well, I wish you the best of luck with this new job. Let's get you home now. I got a job, and I'm starting tomorrow. That's great. Where will you be working? Michelangelo's Pizza. Wow, I love their pizza. What are you doing? Oh, just some anthropology homework. We learned about the complexities of gender and sex today. Huh, what a coincidence. I met a cat earlier today that's neither male nor female. So, non-binary or intersex? Or both? Huh? I don't know what those words mean. Well... Intersex is basically when a person's biology doesn't fit neatly into the categories of male and female. And non-binary is a gender identity that's neither male nor female. I always thought that there were only two sexes, though. Biology isn't that simple. Like, some people have double X chromosomes and look phenotypically male. Some have XY chromosomes and look female. Some people have ambiguous genitals. And as for people with Kleinfelder syndrome, they have double XY chromosomes. And there are even some animals that are naturally capable of changing their biological sex in some circumstances. Oh wow, I never knew any of that. Gender roles also vary across cultures, and there have even been some throughout history that have recognized three or more genders for thousands of years, from the Hijra caste in India to the Native American Two-Spirit people. I'm glad I know more about that now. Anyway, I'm going to my room. See you later. Ooh, alright, see you later.
I want to listen to some music. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this one's great. When the Red Red Robin Comes Bob Bob Bobbin' Along. Published in 1926 by Harry Woods and recorded by Isto. When the Red Red Robin comes Bob Bob Bobbin' Along. Along. There'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his old sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing this song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. When he starts throbbing his old sweet song Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead Get up, get up, get out of bed Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red Live, love, laugh and be happy What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing this song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. Thank you for watching Pussyville. Be sure to check the description for the voice actor credits. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you next time.